Yo, what's up guys? It's Lungi. So today we'll be taking a look at a light sworn deck profile. So first I'll show you the deck list and then afterwards I'll show you some combos with the deck. First off, the best light sworn monster, three copies of Dragon of Light Sworn. Uh, it can special summon itself from the hand and uh, you need to have at least one light sworn monster in the graveyard and after it's special summoned, you can use its effect to send any light sworn card from your deck to your graveyard. So basically giving you access to all your light sworn monsters. And then its other effect is if it's sent to the graveyard, so basically from anywhere, uh, you can search one judgment dragon. So dumps a light sworn and searches for judgment dragon. Very, very, very good card for, for light sworn. Uh, best extender as well. And the next, the second best card, All right, so we've got uh, Wiz, uh, the Druid of Light Swan or something. So he can special himself from the hand by putting a Light Swan monster from your hand on top of the deck and then sending the top card of your deck to the graveyard. So it, it combos very nicely with uh, Wolf and Felice if you happen to, to draw them. And then its other effect is if it's sent from the deck to the graveyard, uh, you can revive any Light Swan monster yeah, you can revive any light sword monster from the from the graveyard. So a lot of your combos uh, require you to send Wiz from the deck to the graveyard. Very, very good card. And then next we have three copies of Wolf. Uh, so you drawing Wolf is, is not is not so great. Wiz kinda helps with that. Um, yeah, Wiz helps with that. But you need to play three copies of, of Wolf because when you mill, you want to be milling, like, you want good mills. And then Wolf, Wolf is actually one of your best mills, if not the, the, the best mill. Because he'll summon himself uh, from the graveyard if, if he's sent to the grave, from the deck to the graveyard. And he's not once per turn, so as long as you ke can keep on sending Wolves, you can keep on getting uh, extenders. So Wolf, it's a brick if you draw it, but it's the best card to mill. So three copies of Wolf. Next three copies of uh, Felice, it's actually worse than Wolf because it only triggers if it's sent by monster effect. So if you use something like Charge of the Light Brigade or something like that, then its effect will not, uh, will not trigger. But it's a tuner and also it acts as removal. You can, I think, tribute it and then destroy your uh, monster on the field and then send the top uh, three cards from your deck to the graveyard. So that can come in handy as well. So three copies of Felice. Next we have the one offs, one Gareth, one Lumina, one Minerva, uh, one Raiden, and then one Dark Lila. So uh, Gareth is very very important because he allows you to gain advantage. So I'll show you a combo that you that you typically do, typically do in the deck with with Gareth Gareth and the new. Uh, Minerva Synchro Monster. So I'll show you that. Uh, and then Lumina is your playmaker. So you need to play at least one copy of, of Lumina. Um, I do debate uh, about playing a second copy of Lumina because you can go Lumina into another Lumina. Um, there are different versions of the deck where you can play more copies of Lumina and then you can also play the, the Dark Lumina who is not in this in this deck as well. But in this version just playing the one, the one Lumina um, mainly just as, a, as an extender and as a way to get like some of your light sword monsters that you sent to the graveyard onto the field and also you can use Selene to summon it back uh, and then Minerva um, so Minerva's only like relevant search target used to be just Judgment Dragon uh, but you can also if you have four light sword monsters in the graveyard when you normally summon Minerva you can search for your new Dragon of, of Light Sword making uh, Minerva much much better than it, than it used to be and much easier to, to uh, get off its effect. One copy of Raiden. Um, some people play like three Raiden, but you know, every time I tested like three Raiden, it's not a good starter at all um, because you have to get very, very lucky. You're only sending the top two cards of your deck to the, to the graveyard and you have to get lucky and hit a wolf. Um, if you miss, then basically your turn is over if you don't have some other extenders. So I choose to play other engines instead of playing like more copies of, 
of Raiden, but the one copy is still is still necessary, I think. But Raiden is is not a it's not a good starter card. I don't think it deserves to be like at, at three copies unless you're playing like sixty cards or something. Uh, and then uh, the one Lila, uh, good against like field spell decks. Um, good against rem removing just like continuous spells and, and trap cards. Uh, it's mostly just a utility option. Um, I think it's better than the other Lila because you can you can end um, you can end on 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 Lila. And then as soon as they activate like a fuel spell or like tanky or something, you can chain its effect and then you can blow it up. So it acts as like some some interruptions as an as an interruption as well. So very, very good for for utility. Uh, and then uh, the last light sworn related monster, uh, two copies of Judgment Dragon. So just two copies, not three copies. Um, sometimes you can use one copy in your in your first turn uh, just as an as an extender because he can just summon himself uh, if you play any rank eights or high level synchros you can use him as an extender uh, but otherwise searching one on your first turn and then searching another one during your opponent's turn by having dragon of light sworn as as material under something then you have two judgment dragons for your turn so you'll summon the one and then um the first one is bait and then the second one will usually get the job done to to clear the field and then you can try to, to OTK your opponent. So I think two copies is ma mandatory. Um, no punishment dragon or anything like that. Just uh, going really straightforward, simple light sworn, light sworn plays. Uh, and then we have a spicy engine. Three copies of uh, the melodious pendulum monster. So it's a one card combo. It can get you, uh, it can get you into like Appaloza plus Minerva. And then you can do your light one plays without worrying about uh, Nibiru. Really, really strong engine for the deck. Uh, best starter for the deck because light one don't have a one card starter, which is uh, one of the issues with the with the archetype. Um, still hasn't been solved with the new support, but Melodious engine is very, very good. So we're also playing three copies of this. This one, this one can search for the fusion spell. So uh, typically you want to you want like both of them. Drawing this one alone is fine. Um, but you'd like to ideally draw like both of them because if you normally summon this, they stop this, you, you have this, and then you have like full combo still. Um, and also, um, they are scale one to nine. They also fix the other issue with Light Sworn, which is uh, Light Sworn. If you, if you draw the Light Sworn monsters, most of them don't special summon themselves. Um, Light Sworn has normal summon syndrome where it has too many normal summon monsters that you, you kind of have to play in, in the deck. Uh, so the melodious pendulum monsters they they solve that issue by being scales, and all your light sword monsters are light, so this restriction doesn't actually like hurt you. You only have like one dark, dark light sword monster, uh, and then uh, the non non engine kind of last two cards, one Medora to to shuffle cards back and also to disrupt the the opponent's graveyard effects, and also one copy of Sharon. I think she's mandatory in in light sword. Because Light Sworn don't really have a lot of like in hand extenders. So you play one copy of her and then one copy of the 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 fuel spell. Um you could play like three copies, but I don't think it's necessary because it's not like a, a T elements um version of, of Light Sworn. It's just pure Light Sworn with like a tech of Sharon. And then the spell cards, mandatory the searcher, send three, and then search for Light Sworn monster. Uh, what you search really depends on what you have in your hand, honestly. Um, if I if I mill three and then one of them is a light sworn monster, then I'll add Dragon of Light Sworn because then it becomes like a one card, a one card combo at that point. Uh, but otherwise, you just search depending on what's what's in your hand. And then Solar Recharge, get those dead cards out of your hand, uh, draw two, and then send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Very nice, mandatory three of as well. And then we have uh, Foolish Burial. Usual targets are Wiz and Wolf. Yeah, Wiz and Wolf. Um, Wiz will revive some other Light Sworn monster and then Wolf will summon itself back. Um, you could also dump Mudora if you really really need to recycle stuff or to disrupt your opponent. Uh, and then we have three copies of Ostinato for the Melodious, Melodious combo. So Ostinato, really, really great. Really, really great card. Amazing, amazingly broken. Yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll put this engine in, in in whatever deck that I can because the card is just just too good, honestly. Way way better than Brilliant Fusion was.
Uh, and then we have the Melodious Fusion spell card, uh, also part of the combos. It can recycle itself, which is very nice. Recycle and then draw if your Melodious Fusion monster is sent to the graveyard. And with its effect, you can use monsters, scales, or monsters in your hand as fusion materials. So you can put your Melodious Scales, and then you can use them as fusion materials. And then after you summon your fusion monster, the scales will trigger, and they'll put themselves back, and then you'll summon another Melodious monster from the from the deck using the, the fusion monster. So really amazing combos. And then last two cards, uh, we have the uh, Tier Elements, Fuel Spell, and the Light Swoon Trap card. Uh, it can target and negate face-up cards uh, up to the number of uh, Light Swoon monsters you, you control. Uh, so it can negate stuff like Dark Ruler or like any, any spells and traps or any monsters uh, targeting negation. Uh, so typically you just target the one one card, it's it's enough. But occasionally you can target like multiple cards to negate them for like a blanket negate. Uh, if it's sent from the deck to the graveyard, it just sets itself, which is very, very good. Uh, but it's a hard once per turn, so that's why you only just play like, like one copy of it. It's a very, very nice inclusion. Um, yeah, and that's it for the deck. Uh, no, no, no hand traps in the in the main deck. Uh, this is a TCG version of the of the deck, mainly because the the TCG ban list and the OCG ban list are, are quite different. So lights won't have access to Curious in the OCG. They have access to Grass and they have access to Snow. So the deck list will look completely different to 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 the TCG TCG deck list. So yeah, so this is like a, a TCG version. If you have hand traps, they'll be in the in the in the side deck. But trying to main hand traps is just like it's a recipe for disaster because the deck is really, really inconsistent. You'd rather just like use your engine to try to you know play into boards or break boards. If you do go first, you don't need hand traps because you can just like you can typically play through one or two like uh, hand traps and then end on like multiple disruptions because of the engines that you're playing in the deck. So it's it's usually not a, not an issue to not have hand traps in the main deck. Uh, in the in the in the TCG because also there's no maxi so you don't you're not forced to play Ash uh, in your in your main deck so yeah now for the extra deck so we'll play Masquerina SP Little Knight the Light Charmer Celine Ixies the Pendulum Appaloza one dragster, uh, the new Minerva, Savage Dragon, Dweller, Ixis Minerva, Harbinger, Mud Dragon, Barcha, and then the other Melodious uh, Fusion Monster. So just one of each because you, you can recycle them and then you can also re revive this one pretty easily with Wiz. Uh, end board cards, Harbinger, Dweller, uh, Savage Dragon. Uh, you play the Mud Dragon because uh, you do have a Dark Master in the main deck. So if you happen to mill Sharon when you have your Dark in the graveyard, then you can make Mud Dragon as a level 4 extender. And then uh, XC the Pendulum. It's needed for your Melodious combos. allows you to basically easily go into Appaloosa. Before you even start your your lights one plays uh, to negate Nibiru, so very very nice card. Uh, you only need these two melodious fusion monsters. Then you have Palooza and Dwarf Trackster. You make Dwarf Trackster with uh, Lumina and then maybe something like Felice. Lumina and Felice, and then the obvious ones, SP Little Knight, and then we have your Light Charmer. Um, who is good for going into your Selene because it's a spell caster monster? Uh, and then you got Selene and then uh, IP Mascarena for some for some inboard shenanigans. So uh, this is the the current extra deck, but you do have other options as well. Like uh, obviously you could play Access Code Talker if you want. Uh, you could remove the Mud Dragon and put Access Code Talker. Uh, you could also play Omega if you want to recycle um, Modora. And then this this one is good with Minerva because you could uh, use like Felice and 
Minerva to make this. And then you can draw a card and then you can destroy your opponent's highest attack monster. Also something like that could come up. And also you could play uh, Tigers to Emerald. Uh, you got a lot of free level 4s so you could use Emerald to just like recycle your extra deck monsters. Uh, or recycle your engine if you want to. So you could also play Tigers to Emerald. So the extra deck, you've got some options and uh, you could change the things around depending on how you how you want to make the deck, how you want to build, build your boards. But for this version, uh, this card, this card, this card, obviously the light zone cards are mandatory. These are mandatory. Uh, I think Appaloosa is mandatory. Um, if you place a lane, this is mandatory. And then Espilon Knights is obviously mandatory. And then Savage. And then Mascarena. Because sometimes your 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 fields are kind of awkward. So being able to just make Mascarena and then have a random monster on the field to go into SP Little Knight could save you. So that could save you. So essentially these are kind of like the, the flex slots in this version of the deck. Uh, Harbinger you can easily make with your Minerva Synchro and uh, Judgment Dragon because you're always searching one Judgment Dragon. Um, you don't need to, to be able to summon both of them to be honest, especially if you've got a board. Dawn Dragster is just the easiest uh, negate to make. Uh, playing this over Michael because Michael doesn't actually do anything when you go first. And uh, yeah, so you could switch these these out for some for some other cards if you if you if you like. Now I'll show you the Ostinato combo in Light Zone. So you activate Ostinato. You send two copies of the same melodious monster, two copies of the level four to the graveyard, uh, and then you will special summon Pacha. And then you'll use Bacha's effect, uh, your special summon, the third copy of the level 4 from your deck. Its effect will trigger on summon, and then you will add, yeah, so you add the other pendulum, and then you'll trigger its effect. You can special summon one from the graveyard, special summon, one back from the graveyard. You'll scale it, and then since you only control melodious monsters or no monsters, you can use its effect, and then you can add the fusion spell card from your deck to your hand. Next, uh, you activate the fusion spell card, so you use one, two, three monsters. So these will go to the extra deck, this one will go to the graveyard, and then you will fusion summon the other Melodious Fusion monster. So the effects will trigger, uh, you'll trigger Bacha's chain link 1, sent to the graveyard, uh, and then your chain link 2 and 3, your scales, so you'll scale them back, because you summoned a fusion monster. And then Pacha will summon back your level 4. So at this point, we're definitely on 5 summons, so they could choose to um, resolve Activate Nibiru at that point you you'll chain her effect and then you'll just banish everything So since there's nothing to tribute the Nibiru will probably stay stay in hand uh, But if you want to have a token on the field, uh, you could just instead just banish like two All right banish two this will be tributed or go back to the extra deck and then the token will be here So you'll summon the token and then they'll summon Nibiru uh, since you haven't pendulum summoned, you could just pendulum summon like the one, the one copy of it, and then you can use it and the token into like Mascarena. And then all you need to do is just like normal summon something because you haven't used your normal summon. Uh, and then these will come back in the end phase. So you'll have, uh, you'll have like, like you have Mascarena, you have your your normal summon, whatever it is. Uh, let's just say this is your normal summon, and then this. You know, through your, through your, uh, through Nibiru, basically. So you can go into SP Little Knights, um, or you could go into like Appaloosa, and then this will bounce any, any card 
um, your opponent has on their side of the field as well. So you can protect your Mascarena with this. Um, you can even do it in the battle phase. So if they go battle phase, try to use Nibiru. You could just use this effect, bounce Nibiru. And then main phase two, they have to deal with the SP Little Knight or the uh, Appaloza. Or the Appaloza. So that's really, really strong. Um, but otherwise, if they don't have Nibiru, Otherwise, if they don't need Nibiru there, uh, or if they don't have Nibiru, you, you do have two, uh, two level fours on the field now. Uh, so what you can do is, so you have, you have two options. You could make a, a rank four now immediately. Um, or what you could do is, you could do this, the Light Charmer. Then you have your Pendulum Summon. And then summon these, and then you could go into a All right. You can go into maneuver after that, or what you could do is um, you could turn these into. Exceed the pendulum effect will trigger. Add to hand. You can use the other effect. Summon, uh, and then you can go for. Then you could go for maneuver. Uh, or if you like, you could just go for. You could just go for, uh, Appaloza at that point. And then you can use your normal summon. Uh, if you have a level 4 to normal summon, you can normal summon the level 4, and then you can go for a maneuver and then try to mull light swarm monsters from, from the top of your deck to the graveyard. All right, so let's imagine we just go into the Charmer link. Uh, we pin them summon. And then we can go into... Go into maneuver. Let's quickly shuffle. I go into maneuver. Use this effect. Mill one, mill two, mill three. All right, so three light swarm monsters, which means we get to draw one, two, three cards. All right, and then we'll trigger these two, so they'll summon themselves back, and then now you can start doing light swarm, light swarm plays. So at this point, you actually don't need to do all that much so you do have access to your normal summon still um, so here you you would here you would go into your maneuver synchro maneuvers effect uh, you can dump whiz and then you can dump felice so whiz will trigger felice will trigger so felice will summon itself back and then you can summon Gareth back with Weezer's effect. So next, what we can do is uh, we can just turn these into a Peloza because we really don't have any space. Um, and then we can banish one. So we can banish Felice. And then we can move one card. Banish Wiz, used it already, trigger Gareth, mill one, mill two. Okay, so we whiffed on that one, so we don't get to draw any cards off of Gareth. But we still have our normal summon. Uh, we've got Lumina, so normal summon Lumina. And then we can just dump the Felice. Dump the Felice, and then we can summon back. All right, dump Felice, summon back Felice. So at this point, we could go for Dawn Dragster. Go for Dawn Dragster. And then we could just turn these into Mascarena. So you can, you do have this card to protect them from battle. 
both of them from battle and then you can go into uh, sp sp little knights using either this if it's used or using this if it's used so yeah so that's just using the one card combo with ostinato you still have like four cards in in your hand uh, and then you do have the Medora that you that you milled to recycle your stuff if you really need to. So yeah, that is the typical one card combo with uh, Ostinato. Alright, the next combo I'll be showing you is a one card combo with just the Melodious Pendulum Monster. So we'll normal summon it, use its effects, search for the other one. We'll scale it, you'll use its effect. Search for the Fusion Spell card. We'll activate it, use them as materials in the scales. And we'll summon our Fusion Monster. So, chain link 1, chain link 2 and 3, your scales. Alright, so we scale them, and then we use her effect to summon the level 4 from the deck. What you'll do next is you'll use this one scale effect and you will send the last copy from your deck to the graveyard uh, that's because you want to use her revival effect to summon it back and then you will uh, link summon uh, basically any basically any link to uh, and then you will trigger her effect chain link 1 and then we'll trigger this effect, chaining 2, to put itself back and then draw a random card. So we'll draw and then we'll use her effect to revive the pendulum monster which is we sent to the graveyard. Uh, next, we'll use these two to make exceed the pendulum. So on summon, we'll add back one to our hand and then we'll use its quick effect to special summon one from our hand and then next we will combine them to make Appaloza alright so at this point you have access to your pendulum summon so you'll summon one two alright so then you can make a rank four you can make Minerva Alright, so you can try and make Minerva, and then you can use its effect to try and dig for Lightsworn cards to get your Lightsworn combos going. Alright, so you can use her effect to try and get your Lightsworn combos going. See if you get lucky. One, two, three. Alright, we've got zero Lightsworn monsters in the graveyard, so that is a whiff. Alright, so if you whiff off of this, uh, and you don't have anything in hand uh, you will just have the Appaloza which has like two negates so the lucky jewel was the light zone trap card so we have Appaloza and this trap card and then whatever cards we we have in hand uh, but you do still have access to your your scales so if you have other monsters which you could summon from hand you can use those to make plays as well uh, so it's not like you have nothing uh, nothing available in your hand but with just this card, uh, you end on Appaloza, and then you can make a Minerva, and then you can try and get your engine engine going that way. Next, I'll show you the one card combo. Uh, now, this is a, a bit of a, I guess, kind of situational one card combo. So, uh, this card cost is to send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. So, you have to send a Light Zone monster from the top of your deck to your graveyard for this to be a one card combo. So let's see if we do it. One, two, three. All right, so there we go. We got Gareth. So now we can search for Dragon of Light Sworn. Uh, now we need to have a Light Sworn monster for him to be able to summon himself from the hand. So we have Gareth in the graveyard. Trigger his effect. Special summon. So on summon, you can send a Light Sworn monster, a Light Sworn card from your deck to the graveyard. So we want to send a tuner, we'll send Felice, we'll trigger Felice's effect, and then special summon it back. Then we will synchro summon our new Minerva synchro monster. Uh, next we'll 
trigger Minerva is chain link 1 and then Dragon is chain link 2 uh, we want to protect Minerva from Ash Blossom and the likes because its effect is more important so trigger Dragon chain link 2 so for Judgment Dragon the Minerva uh, usually we'll send Gareth and Wiz but we already have Gareth in the graveyard so we will send Wiz and we will send uh, another Felice so now both will trigger chain link 1, chain link 2 Wiz will summon back the Gareth and then Felice will summon itself back alright so now you have you have three light zones in the in the graveyard so let's just try to maximize our chances of hitting something so we'll just banish all three of them for cost and then we will send the top three one two three right so on the next chain all the mandatory effects so Gareth Wolf and then optional effects I think this is optional uh, Minerva and then the trap card so the trap card will set itself uh, Minerva will send another card from the top of the deck to the graveyard Wolf will summon itself back and then Gareth will trigger to send two, one, two. So we hit two, so we get to draw two, one, and two. So since Minerva triggered on the previous chain, Gareth will trigger again. One, two. Right, so we woofed on those mills. All right. So now at this point, uh, we will make the Minerva XYZ so we'll XC summon the Minerva XYZ uh, and then we will detach we'll send 3 from the top 1 2 and 3 right so we got a light zone monster so we get to draw one card and on the next chain, you've got your mandatory effect, chain link 1, and then Sheeran, chain link 2. So Sheeran will put itself in this back. So at the bottom of the deck. And then we'll summon Mud Dragon. Summon it over here, because we don't have space. Uh, Gareth will send 2, 1, 2. Alright, so we'll draw 1. And then Felice will trigger summon itself back from the graveyard All right so now at this point we're pretty much out of lights on extra deck monsters to to summon to trigger their effects uh, we still haven't used our normal summon yet still haven't used our normal summon uh, so what we can do since we have lumina in the graveyard yeah we have lumina in the graveyard so we can turn this and this into the light charmer and then we will go into Celine. Now we should have counted, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six spell cards. All right, so six counters use her effect, summon back, right so we'll summon the Lumina, use Lumina's effect to, we can discard this and then we can summon back, we want a tuner, 
so we can summon back I guess Felice uh, summon back the Felice and then we can turn Lumina and Celine into Apolloza and we can use Gareth and Felice to make Savage Dragon so Savage Dragon's effect we will equip the Celine right so we still have solar recharge here uh, we have solar recharge here but we still haven't used our normal summon so we could just do this discard this so we draw two one two and then we mill two one two right so no effects to trigger at that point uh, we haven't used our normal summon so we could normal summon this so normal summon this add this uh, its effect will trigger and then we can special summon okay alright so we don't have any targets for it but otherwise we would have been able to special summon a level 4 melodious monster all right so we just add it add it to the hand and then what we could do is we could summon all right we could summon both judgment dragons and then we can Overlay. Summon both Judgment Dragons and then we can overlay into Hope Harbinger. Uh, so that may seem a bit silly at first, but we do have access to our Dora to shuffle to shuffle them back. And we can just search them again. Right, so this will be your end board. So we have this as a as a negate, target any face up card and then negate because we have one light tool monster face up uh, and then we have Appaloosa we use two materials and then we have Harbinger uh, spell negate which can protect Appaloosa from battle um, and also we have Savage who has three three counters on it so all of this from just one one uh, one card which is charge of the light light brigade so pretty pretty crazy crazy stuff it it is a it, it is a bit uh, luck dependent because you have to mill a light zone monster for the charge of the light brigade, but since you're playing so many, um, I don't think it's that unlikely to 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 be able to do it. And uh, yeah, since you're milling a bunch of cards, there's a very high chance of you actually hitting uh, cards that are that are very uh, that are important or cards that can help you extend extend more. And yeah, so this is this is the end board, pretty pretty strong, I think. So that's it for the video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace.